is a tutorial on how to manually uninstall Oracle. So uh, kick back, get your coffee, and let's go do some work here. And <clears throat> all right, so to manually uninstall, I have outlined six steps. The first step is to delete the environment variable. And that in Windows, the environment variables is, are the path variable, things like that. So we're not going to delete the entire path variable. To get to the path variable, you right click on your PC here. This is just the GUI method. I'm not using shortcuts. I'm not using uh, CPL or MSC shortcuts. I'm just going to show you graphically how to do this. So you go to advanced system settings. Down here to environment variables and over to path. And you can see here, uh, it's, I attempted to install it install it to this location c app oracle product 12.1 grid bin okay so we're going to go ahead and delete that that is the environment variable that's step one done next is to delete the registry entries so let's go to reg edit and we are going to go to first let me do this i think i've been in here before so Go to software, uh, HKLM, software, and then right click on Oracle and delete. Okay, go ahead and do that. The other thing uh, we have to delete out of here is the system current control set services because it's installed some services. And just go down to O. I select an entry and then I hit the O button to quickly get me down there. It's only installed one service so far, but there would be most likely about five or six services when you actually successfully install it. So go ahead and do that. That is step two, delete registry entries. Now we're going to delete the home directory. Go ahead and close that registry. You don't want to have that open and mistakenly delete other things. So this is the home directory. I always put it in app a folder called app, Oracle, etc. So one thing you have to make sure of is here's a shortcut for services. Let's go out to services. And once that comes up here, we're going to go down to Oracle. And you see that's running. So go ahead and stop Oracle. Stop your Oracle services. Now you can delete this folder. Just delete the, the whole app directory, in my case. So it's rather large. It's going to ask you if you want to permanently delete it. Okay, go ahead and say yes to that. It's working. Do you want to permanently delete? Double checking, <laughs> I guess, twice. <coughs> All right. Okie dokie, so that is done. That's the home directory. Now delete the directory from program files. So program files, Oracle, right here. Go ahead and delete that. You don't need it. And uh, now you want to delete the start menu. Now with the start menu, a little different. You're going to have to uh, go to something called program data. Now you don't see program data here, do you? Well, that's because it's hidden. And if you go up to View in Windows Explorer, go, to, go over to Options, go over to View, there's something called Hidden Files and Folders. Right now it's set to Don't Show Hidden Files and Folders. This is very dangerous. If you, you have to know what you're doing. It's like the registry. You have to know what you're doing when you're deleting things from the registry. So showing hidden files and folders, go ahead and do that. And now all of a sudden, presto, you have uh, program data. Go down to Microsoft. Go down to Windows. And then go to Start Menu. And Programs. And Oracle. That's the home Start Menu. Go ahead and delete that. I hit the Delete key on my keyboard. 
same thing. And now the next thing, so that is deleting from the start menu. The next thing you want to do is go down to you, delete your temp data. So go down to users, my user is that. And we are going to go down to app data. App data is another hidden folder that will show up when you actually change that setting. So then go to local, go to temp. And there's the oracles and stalls that I've been trying to do. This is actually the step that I, I figured out I was missing. I, I, I wasn't deleting this stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going, go, going to go ahead and delete all that temporary information. And that is how you manually uninstall Oracle 12C.